This was something I dug up because I thought it was, it was appropriate. We made this list 12 years ago. And, uh, and what happened was we decided that you know, no one knew what they were doing and we wanted to really figure out what we thought mattered. And we made this thing called the old rules of branding, brand building, the old rules versus brand momentum. And we used to sell this idea of momentum a lot. And, and what we did is we just juxtaposed the two. So, you know, old rule, consistency, new rule, surprise. You know, if, if one has to win over the other, we said consistency is from the days of early branding, when people didn't understand what a brand was. So you were really consistent. People get brands now. You can have 12 different logos. People will track with you. You know, endorsement was the old, mo you know, model. I, I use it, so you should too. No one really, people still use the term endorsement, but it's not endorsement. It's, it's cultural relevance through, through celebrity, to create buzz through celebrity. You would never have a celebrity actually say, I use it, so you should too. Um, investment as currency was an old idea. Ideas as currency um, was, was the new way of doing it. Um, you actually, there was a point where you could say, I got, I got $100 million, and, and, and a media buyer could say how, how much awareness you could buy. You know? So this is 12 years old, though. Announcement versus conversation, whether you're you know, saying something to people or actually beginning to converse with them. Advertising versus advertising and publicity. We always said, you know, if your advertising is not making PR, then you're, then you're wasting your time, you're wasting your money. Um, news in the pipeline, news is the pipeline. Retail is the opposite of branding. Retail is branding. We, we never, we, we hated it when people, we wouldn't hate it, but a lot of pe times people say retail, you know, and branding, retail and branding. We were like, no, it's just, it's one, it's one thing and you have to just know how to do it. And then it's, you know, retail will be your branding. The medium dictates the ideas, ideas find a medi medium. Now, this is before people were saying this stuff. And I look at the list now, I'm like, damn, that was good. Because I, 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 I hadn't looked at it in a long time. But, you know, 12 years ago, I think we made a good list. And, and, and the industry has moved to this. In part because people stole our decks. Um, and, and, you know, there was, there was a time, um, probably four or five years ago, where, where I decided that I wanted Crispin to be the model of what agencies should be, right? That I wanted to, like, get that out there, that, that we were the new model. I really regret that I ever did that, but it worked so fast. I'm just, you know, it was, it was kind of silly how quickly we were able to put the idea that we had the new model into the advertising culture and that people adopted it. It was uncomfortable to see, and then, and then and, and it probably shortened the lifespan of us being unique as well, so, so, I, so I paid a price for it. But, um, but it was a decision and it worked, and that's, you know, that's, that's, the, uh, that's the other interesting thing about all of this that is, that is you know, the, more of the, the Buddhist, but, but uh, life is made out of this stew, right? And, and, and the, this, all of this atomic stew, and, and we have, the, have, the, have, through intention, shape it to make whatever we want. And, and it's just, I, I know that that's true, and I've done it over and over, but it, can't, it just doesn't stop being a miracle to me. So it always surprises me. It's like, oh, that thing happened that I wanted to happen. I can't believe it. Um, but it, but it, will, it, it, hap it will happen for, for you guys. You, know, you just have to put that intention out there. It's got to be unique, though. I think it's got to be unique. Um, so random list of rules that I just, you know, I, I, I just, oh, I got to go back one. Okay, yeah. What was great about this moment was it was the first time ever, so this is 12 years ago, I've been making lots of presentations, and it was the first time ever I made a presentation and, and one after another, and the clients were writing down everything that we were saying and talking about. And, and the, the very first time it happened, I had just pulled this out of my ass. So, <clears throat> and other asses, because um, I didn't make it by myself. But, but uh, so, 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 you know, 12 hours before, I was finishing up pulling this out of my ass, and now you're writing it down. I'm like, you know, part of me is going like, no. That's, I just made it up. Like, you could really damage your career and your business with this stuff. Um, it's not real. Uh, 
And that was, that, it, was it, it took a while for me to realize that's what you're supposed to do, though, right? The, 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 uh, there is a process where, where, where you're writing down what other people are doing, and then there is a process where you're, where you're actually generating new, new ideas, and you're, and you're making it up. It is okay to make it up. People want you to make it up. The industry wants you to make it up. The universe wants you to make it up. It is, it is, it is okay. So, so um, not all of you will make it up, but some of you will, will leave here and start making up more stuff.